I want to take a look at how Zoom links within Blackboard look for instructors versus students. So I am in Blackboard and there's a course here I'm an instructor for. Let's click in to see instructor view first. So I'll click into my course and the Zoom link is on the side here. Click on Zoom. The Zoom meeting loads. I want to show you what the instructor sees. So first off, across the top, there is a big blue button to schedule a new meeting. Students don't see this button. And a link here to all my Zoom meetings and recordings. It's important to note that students do not see this. So when you click on that, you're going to go and see all the Zoom meetings once you've created through your Zoom account in Calendar or in the Zoom portal, for example. Students won't see those. TAs will see a button, but they will see their own meetings, not yours. Then we have four tabs here just below that. Upcoming meetings, previous meetings, a link to your personal meeting room, and cloud recordings. So m the upcoming meetings will show links to start for the host any upcoming meetings or the students are going to see join here instead. Also an option to delete that, could click on the link, scroll down and edit the meeting here as well. Previous meetings would show any past specific date time meetings and the personal meeting room will show and again this is only going to show for you. Students won't see this. Finally under cloud recordings when you have a session that you've created in Blackboard and you start it and record it to the cloud the recording will take a little bit to process. Once it's processed it'd be available in here for your students to view as well automatically. One important thing to know about these recordings sometimes they have a passcode on them so in the description I'll link to where you can learn how to find the password so you can provide it for your students so they can view the recordings. So that is what the instructor sees. I'm going to go out into a different course now that I am a student in so you can take a look how it looks for students. Now here is the meeting I'm a student of and there's no schedule zoom link, there's no view all recordings link and I only see three tabs across the top. With upcoming meetings and there is a reoccurring meeting with a join button, I can click to join the meeting. A link to previous meetings, so if there's anything that was scheduled at a fixed time in the past or if reoccurring meetings in the past that have since concluded, those will be here. And any cloud recordings through the class will also be in here as well. So a quick summary of what looks different for instructors or TAs and students. Instructors have options to schedule meetings or go into all meetings and they also have a personal meeting room ID. The students are not going to see the option to schedule or view all and they won't see the personal meeting room link either.